Welcome back to the base with the friendliest place on YouTube, Link's Awakening in the tower, in the Eagle's Tower. I'm really excited. Uh, we've, we've already blown up two pillars by throwing this crazy heavy rock at it, the ball thing. Uh, and I threw it over this wall because I'm pretty sure we need to go around and come back from the other side and grab it and go uh, get to the other pillars. We gotta break down those pillars, man. How many pillars are there? Enough. <laughs> I, th I think there are four. Oh, okay. Um, yes, that's right, Ted. We are excited to be in this tower, and uh, when you threw the ball over the wall, it reminded me of uh, why Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. He took his eyes off that? the prize. Uh, if you stay on the ball, you stay on the wall. <laughs> I don't remember that being a part of the story, but I'll... I'll uh... I'll take your word for it. <laughs> well, it's Bart's advice to uh, a younger Navajo student <laughs> when Bart becomes a tutor. He starts taking a drug called Focusin, which is supposed to be like Ritalin. Ritalin. I've seen <laughs> yeah. that episode because he watches a fly and it slows way down. It's pretty funny. <laughs> is it right? He watches a fly going uh, in slow motion? The fly no, wait. King of the Hill familiar. had a... Oh, okay. King of the Hill had that. No, Bart discovers that Major League Baseball is spying on America. <laughs> and he shoots down a satellite with a tank. <laughs> that he steals from the army. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, it's pretty great. I gotta see that episode. That sounds incredible. It's pretty funny. Um, yeah, so we're doing the tower. This is a this is a tricky dungeon. This is a dungeon. It's a puzzly one for that sure. Took a while for Ted when he was a Young supple child in when the midst I was of his lad. childhood, and uh, but now he's a grown man. There's that ball. I growed up. I growed all the way up. Grow up and blow away. So uh, now we can go around, but we can't get through because the stinking thing. So now we gotta jump down the hole, land here. Oh. So now are you on the first floor? I'm on the first floor now. We started in the second floor. Started the episode in the second floor, yes. Oh, and now the blue ones are down and the orange ones are up. Right, and because the blue ones are down, when we go up here, we're going to have access to a chest up here. The sun has gone down and the oh, moon shoot. has come up. And long ago, somebody left with the cup. Did you ever listen to Cake? Oh, snap! Dude, you got the mirror shield! Now you can turn back beams. I haven't if listened I could to turn Cake very back much. Beams. If I could turn back beans. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cher sings if I could turn back beans. Dude, music <laughs> facilitates so much humor. It's wonderful. I love music. See, our ball is still over here. Yeah, it is. Haha! -ha. It has perc- Wow, Ouch. that slime spawned inside the ball. He was right there. Ooh, you the gotta get them all the with the same thing-a-thing. Shoot. Oh, fail. Did it didn't did it didn't Fail! Shoot. They were too close Sh to each other. Shoot. <laughs> One, two, three, four. How many times can Ted fail this? Five, six, seven, eight. Hart was one of the, um... Ha! I think in the Green Lantern. Them. Hart was one of the characters. It was like, Earth, Fire, Water, Hart. <laughs> it's because he could control the animals. <laughs> Still. <Whoa. laughs> I'm a goofy goofball. Oh, I'm gonna get you. He's not so goofy now, now is he? He's such like a little kid. Oh no! Throw <laughs> tantrum on the ground. You could just hear little kids going. <laughs> hey, we got a key and a fairy. Do we have any empty bottles? No, we have two bottles full of fairies. Is yes. what we have. And Remember we have I magic medicine. The hard way that you don't use those automatically by dying, but you have to actually like pull the fairy out of the bottle before you're dead. So there's the there's the pole we gotta hit. Yep. That's a one way door there. I'm gonna go in this door first. Um. Which we can't do anything with. Have you ever beaten this game without dying? No. Do you get a different ending if you do that? 
I don't think so. I got a comment to the effect that that is indeed the case, but sometimes those comments are like, Oh, if you defeat totally a Lionel false. with sticks, you get a special socks. Yeah, so the thing about that ball is you can't bring it through doors. So all of these rooms that the ball needs to go to are connected without doors. Hmm. But you have to still go around to the different ones and figure out a way to get through. So Link takes the doors and then creates a shortcut for the ball. A ball cut. Check that out. Okay, a ball oh. cut. Oh. Hey, I recognize that from the original Legend of Zelda. Rooms where they're bifurcated by a row of... Whoa, that was a good word, Peter. That is good. I, you know, I'm kind of proud of myself, actually. Um, by like a hallway like that where you've got a bomb through. Those it's are always cool tricky on the map because you would see a map with two doors in it and you would think, I could go through there. And then you get to the room and you'd be like, nope, I cannot. It's a tricky puzzle. Hey, it's a pillar. Wish I could just, wish I could just break that thing down. Oh, shoot. That's right. You remember? Okay, the only way out of here now is to jump down the hole. So I have to go back around, grab the ball, go okay. down below, throw the ball across this gap, is what Ew. I've got to do. Really? Are you strong enough to do that? Yeah. Oh. Well, good. <laughs> well, I'm glad. <laughs> well, doesn't that just sound convenient and dandy? Uh, yes, it does, Kent. You're better at this game than me. The trick is to jump over as many things as you can. <laughs> I would have died so many times. Everyone is glad that you're playing right now. The social distancing came at a great time. See, the thing is, guys, <laughs> is Link's Awakening is on Ted's Switch. Now, right. I don't know, Ted, it, with online play, if I could actually play. I know it works with the NES and the SNES, where we can like basically hand the controller off to each other virtually. Which is a super cool feature, by the way. Yeah, that would Last be amazing week, if that could be done with uh, any game on the Switch. Yeah, like this or copy. Breath of the Wild. That would be pretty remarkable. But as <laughs> it is such, uh, if, if a game is um, locked to one Switch or the other between Ted and I, and it's not the NES or <laughs> SNES titles, God, then uh, to that the other decides side. who plays it. Shoot, how do I get to the other side again? I gotta make the blue ones go down and then drop down. That's how you get over there. Uh, and now we have a key, so we can break that block, walk up to that little partial area, and then drop down onto the spot where we need to be. Ugh. Did you find the map? No, I did not. Oh, okay. But you did but find the... Mirror shield. Yes, I did. Oh, good job. See, now I can just, I can, I don't have to have this thing open to get through here now. Ah. Uh, which is great. That is great. I don't that have helps. to kill these guys. You do? No, I don't anymore. Oh, oh unless well, I Well, you do might that. as well get hearts. Oh, oh. Ouch. Never mind. Nah. Hearts I mean, are I, for thought, minis. I thought the one that was a club was not stuck yet. That was my mistake. Well done. Well done, Steak. All right, almost there. We're, we're almost to the next pillar. Ugh. Oh, that's the gap that you throw it across. Got yeah. it. Yeah, I, can't, I, I don't throw it long ways. There's a lot that of sort down. of spatial reasoning going on here. If the ball falls down a level, it goes back to its starting point. So it's that's a at least kind of nice. So you can't soft lock yourself in that way. Right. Yeah, I imagine that's probably easier from, like, a development standpoint, too. Yeah. You got another pillar. Congratulations. Pillar destroyed. Pillar? Oh, shoot. Now you can't get away. You have to fall down. Chester, you have to Chester A. Arthur. I think I gotta put the ball back in here. And then fall. But I got to drop. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this well, level, I'm telling you, man. It's so annoying. 
it could be that like your standard way of doing it is not optimal. I don't I'm know. I'm sure. I'm sure that's the the truth. Well, I mean, but like maybe like in some sort of dramatic way, not just you're not taking the fastest path from a speedrunner standpoint, but we're like, oh, you don't have to do that if you do it like this, and it's just. I don't know. I have games that I can beat where I know I'm doing something the wrong way, but it works. So it's effective. So is it really wrong? Well, yes, but good enough. Right. Right. Okay. Now we're up here, and I'm pretty sure we can't bring the ball through. Right. Hmm. So I gotta figure out a way to get the ball up there. Oh! The way to get the ball into that room uh. is not from down here. Right. Right. But instead it is from over here. How am I going to do this? I feel like I gotta bring the ball back to its starting point. I'm gonna drop it down the hole. Do you need a key? I don't think so. If I could turn back beams. <laughs> do you need this? Do you need the uh. You know what? What? I wonder if this oh. helps a lot with this part. Could be. I never attempted this, but this this would be a lot easier than trying to go the other way. The old throw and jump. Oh. Uh, I gotta be able to move that this block out of the way. Yeah, that's the only way into that room. Yeah, unless you could do it from the ball. left of there. I don't think you can, though. So how do you move that thing? Oh, great. <laughs> okay. Well, that's just fantastic. Well, I can just do it? this. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That okay. wasn't so bad. Okay, okay. All right. <gasps> okay. Well, get out of here, you green goober. What are you even thinking? Here we go. Well then, progress. Oh the shoot! I still got to get over there though. Oh. Well, that's not that's not bad though. That's I've done that. Well, yeah, you've beaten the game. <laughs> that's true. I meant like I've done that recently. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not like okay. four months ago. <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh. What's in here? A beak. Oh yeah, that's right, because Ooh, we started playing this game on the channel, and then you're like, a week later when we went to record, you're like, I beat it. <laughs> Look who it is! It's, is that Kirby? It's totally Kirby. Ba, 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 da, Look at, he even sucks you up. Does he not die? Ba, ba, Apparently ba. not. But he attacks you? He, yeah, he tries to suck up your brains. Dude, he's terrifying. Kirby is a disgusting monster. <laughs> Great music, though. I'd much rather be Kirby than fight Kirby. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's just scary. Yeah, he's like, legit. What does he have inside of him? Black hole? Black hole. I've seen some terrifying hole, drawing artist renderings of Kirby. All right, check it out. We broke all the pillars. Bow, bow, bow. Another one bites the dust. Boom. Dude, that last pillar was doing the job of four. Just barely. It was hanging on. Strong pillar. All right, now we're done with this whole pillar ball thing. So that's S nice. So we'll move on to the next part of the dungeon next time in the basement. In the basement.